good morning to another beautiful day hit our little build project at the beach on Panay Island in the Philippines um, here we are as you see it's another gorgeous day we had some super hard rain last night and uh, <laughs> we come back to a very muddy project this morning but that's okay that's okay that water is always a blessing keep that water tables up here for us too with these shallow wells uh, everybody got here early I've been really surprised with them every day they're not showing up late they're actually showing up early who can say that who can say that about their crew in the Philippines I'm talking about they've been showing up like 30 40 minutes early and going on the work too and I mean they're not like saying hey I need to leave early in the evening now because I showed up early there they're content, man. I mean, I, I cannot complain. I guess if you take good care of them, maybe they'll take good care of you too. They, they know my feelings about some of these things. They've been around and heard me complain and yell and raise hell, and that's the truth. It's on always uh, smiles and giggles here at this project. Y'all have seen in the past in some earlier videos, earlier this year and last year, of uh, me getting upset with them it's, and those people I got upset with are gone um, not that I don't like them or anything like that um, a couple of more family members but there's if, if you can't take my criticism and you can't take me to correct the bad work that you're doing on my project for my home and my money I'm spending well then it's just best that we don't do business with each other and if, if you're going to get your feelings hurt real easy, it's just best you don't deal with me. This crew, they, they understand that. I've been through it with a couple of them, and they came back, and they seen their ways, their faults, and they came back to me, um, including even Joel in the past. You know, he, he got, kind of suckered in and brainwashed a little bit by a couple of them that got tempo with me, and he tried to join the, the brigade with them to... Uh, banned me but he, he came back across he knew that I was taking good care of him and and to his family as well so uh, just remember that you know don't be shy to speak up and and stand your ground if you feel that something's not going right or you disagree with it but, but don't get too nasty you know you can you can do it without just breaking them down and destroying who they are or being insulting to their culture or anything like that it's like this what you think uh, is wrong they may think it's right because all they've known is doing it that way even if it's wrong that's all they've known someone taught them wrong someone before that person taught them wrong someone before them taught them wrong but in their culture it's not wrong it's right but um, then the puddings in the proof two three four years later when stuff's crumbling and cracking and falling apart and still is bleeding through rust right through the concrete to the outside because they did not put a good cover over the cement as well so you got to manage your job you know you got to manage your job and just because you hire a contractor does not always mean that that contractor is going to manage the job too a lot of times you won't even hardly see the contractor it'll just be a foreman and masoons and they're just kind of on their own and the contractor is just out bouncing everywhere between many jobs and uh enjoying that money he's earning off of you i'm widening out this this big uh water cistern underground here adding a couple more feet on the width on it when you're uh when you're building like that and you you just spread out two feet out you've increased the volume of this thing tremendously but you haven't changed the cost of your project much and the reason i'm putting such a large underground water tank is when dry season comes here we run out of water and if we're gonna have plants and grass and things in this yard too, they're gonna need water. And salt water ain't gonna cut it. So what happens is we only have a shallow well here. You can't have a deep well near the beach. Um, you'll, you'll go down and you'll pass the freshwater layer and you'll cut into 
salt water again. So you can only have a shallow well. And shallow wells dry up when dry season comes. And it's more houses keep building in here and digging wells, like my neighbor did right next door now, and they're using water. And more people are living here. Of course, that water table is going to drop even faster. So we're going to catch the water off the roof. Uh, usually try to keep the roof pretty clean. There's not really any trees that will be up there depositing leaves or anything like that. And this water will go down into the tank. And if worse come to worse, we could even put a filtration system on it and use that water on the household. Now, normally, any water that we drink or anything like that, we bring in bottled water. It's really cheap here. And uh, the company's just literally right out the gate up here, so it's not a problem. But you need water for other things, for laundry, for cleaning dishes, um, like I say, maintaining plants and animals and things like that. So I want to have a large water reserve here on tap. Now talking about that well and it being shallow wells here and the salt water if you go too deep, one of the things that we've encountered is that since I built this well here on this property, um, when we go home to Texas, we have found out that the neighboring community is coming over and pumping water off my well uh, to supply themselves. And I've tried and tried to explain that this is not a community well. It just isn't. Now, if Melinda's family, if they want to come over and get some of the water, that's, that's fine because their well turns salty really quick. I think they're a whole lot closer into the shore and they don't have these layers of clay and stuff that we do that protects some of that salt from coming through. But uh, community well, it is not. But those are just the things that you're gonna deal with if you're not around to guard all that. And of course, the family's friends with everybody in the community and and they're shy to tell them, that's their, always their word here, you know. I'm shy, shy to say no. Um, so they're shy to say no. And then when sometimes I have got here and we not have much water left because the ground table has been really pulled down and found that this well has just been pumping non-stop. Uh, it's things you're going to deal with. You're just going to, I mean, you're going to encounter these things and you're going to have to deal with these things. And um, once again, I try not to, I try to be a little understanding. Okay, yeah, you're short on water over there and all. The thing is, is that there's some wells over there in that area, and I've seen those wells. They filled them full of trash. That's right, they used some wells that was there, including one huge well, which can contaminate everybody's water. They filled them full of trash, packed it up full of trash, and it wasn't even on their land. It would be just like they come over here to my well and filled it up full of trash while I was gone. Well, that's what they've done over in other places. Anywhere to try to dispose their trash, they have put it and, uh, yeah, contaminated wells, contaminated groundwater. And so we are really cautious to use this water and what we use it for. Watering plants on the lawn, all of that's fine. Um, but that's a little ways away from me where those are at, but it's still not far enough away to make me feel comfortable. I'll put it that way. Uh, it just seems like the community leaders would do something to fix that trash issue of them burying trash in the ground, burying diapers in the beach that comes along and waves wash it out and there's exposed dirty diapers. This is the ugly side of things. I'm gonna tell you how it is. I cannot always sit here and just paint a pretty picture and get a good brown nose and all that just tell how it is some things need to be addressed for the good of everyone for everyone's health and safety maybe they need to read up what cholera is That would be very important. Cholera, it has.
a lot of people, probably more so than this current situation.